Hi Aquarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your monthly September love reading for how the other person feels about you for September 2017. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If the message does not resonate with you, you can always check your other signs to see if perhaps maybe it will. If you would like to get a personal reading, I have this reading on my website. Um, I add a few more extra cards and give a bit more clarity in the personal reading, but it's a similar layout. Uh, you can just go to my About section here on YouTube, scroll down to the bottom, and click Book a Reading, and that will take you directly to my site so that you can go ahead and do that. If you don't do that, you can just go to MoonPyTarot.com. Okay, so we'll get started with your reading. This reading is for any of you who ha either have someone on your mind or, um, or have someone that you're dealing with, okay? So in the position of how the other person feels about you, they have the forgiving and learning card. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I feel like, you know, the messages that this person may be bringing to you sometime during this month could be messages about they have learned a lesson or they are in forgiving mode if there was a problem from the past or an issue that may have recently or uh, recently occurred or further back they uh, they are looking for forgiveness from you or looking for you to forgive them um, for something that they have done. Oh, it's the same thing. Um, or they are forgiving you for something. And maybe you taught them a lesson and they needed to learn it. Now, it's cl uh, clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, but it's that's in the reverse. <clears throat> Again, sorry. My voice just, every time I start a reading. Um, so the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse Perhaps there was an issue that occurred that had something to do about um, a money situation or a financial problem. Um, maybe someone had, if it's not finances, maybe somebody was greedy or taking advantage of you in the past or taking money from you or causing you to go into debt or um, both of you to go into debt. Or uh, maybe it's if it's just someone that's on your mind, maybe it's a friend that borrowed money from you and didn't pay you back. And, you know, maybe it was a whatever it was, there was an issue with trust happening here. Um, and then either you said something to them about this situation or you called them out on it. And, uh, n you know. And now perhaps they're giving you this message at this time where they're sorry for if you felt they took advantage of you. Okay. Um, give me just a second here. I'm just looking to see. Or if you had borrowed something from them and didn't return it right away uh, and finally decided to or if you took something from someone, you know, they're in this position where they are forgiving you for that. Okay. It can go either way, but there will be some type of message that could be being sent to you about that. Now in the position of how this person feels about you, um, they, they want you to make an effort and they see that you will be. It says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Maybe make an effort to, I feel like, either forgive them or give them a second chance. The king of pentacles in the reverse. They feel you're a bit stubborn. Maybe you have some jealousy issues or maybe it was you who was being greedy. Um, or maybe they want you to forgive them for their greedy ways. You could be, some of you, dealing with an earth sign or have dealt with an earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay, and, uh, or if it's not those signs, it could just be someone that 
embodies that energy okay where maybe there was financial dependence maybe somebody was depending on you financially or even if it wasn't just paying everyday bills you know like if you have this person on your mind uh, maybe there's some type of financial or monetary connection with them or maybe it's someone that you know at work that was taking advantage of your work time okay uh, maybe always asking you to cover for them or always asking you to work for them you know and you really like this person so you've been trying to be helpful and giving and you know uh, to be there in that sense but there's a sense of greed greediness and taking advantage okay so I feel like with this make the effort card how they feel about you is you know they are coming to you perhaps asking for forgiveness saying that they're sorry for taking advantage of you and they're hoping you know they they how they are feeling about you is that they would like for you to forgive them for you to make an effort to try again with them now in the position of what's going on in their thoughts the trust card as I was saying there is a trust issue here and so it says the card is calling you the situation is calling for you to have faith and to trust them again okay and it's also clarified with the strength card and the strength card is basically about you know having strength it's about giving maybe maybe you need to give this person another chance um, to be confident to think positively in a sense and the only reason I say that and I try not to use major arcana cards to pull out astrological signs but strength always reminds me of Leo because of the lion so when you embody the energy of Leo which is your opposite sign on the astrological wheel um, the, the Leo person is someone who takes control of situation they love themselves they're self full of self-love they're confident they have good health so it's taking that energy about yourself trusting yourself but this person you know trust can also have to do with like trust accounts or uh, money and stuff like that so you know maybe this person is going to repay you or repay a debt whether it's a financial debt or emotional debt or any kind of thing that they may have taken away from you they're gaining the strength now to put their trust back put that trust back okay so in the position of their behavior this person actually feels like you are their soulmate so I like to sometimes say that soulmate relationships I almost always say this that they are challenging relationships um, it doesn't make them bad sometimes people think oh we're soulmates we're connected you know you you are but you are sometimes can be connected in a very karmic way where soulmates relationships can come in all forms it could be family members friends lovers okay and we have many of them so this person that you are listening to this reading for is definitely a soulmate and is this someone who challenges you to go above and beyond and break barriers within yourself okay so but this person on a more romantic level is seeing you as being that for them and with the nine of cut uh, nine of coin pentacles in the reverse you know sometimes this card in the upright can be a card about someone who likes their single life and likes to be independent financially independent um, this person does rely on you in some way to help them and they know that uh, the challenge perhaps is for you to understand this about them that you are a benefit to them you are teaching them things um, but I feel like I feel like also with this card it's saying that you know this person does have financial setbacks they do uh, at least at this time they are actually putting in the work and the effort either to repay you back 
again monetarily or um, in an emotional way they don't want I don't feel like they want to be single and they they are at this point now where they're realizing that the love and affection and the compassion is more important than the money or than the career and things like that in a sense that you've taught them things you've taught them lessons just by being just by who you are your presence you being in their life in some way and as far as romantic relationship goes even though this person is coming to realize that they are trying to gain financial independence or some type of independence in their life they do need you for that help you know and of course we don't have the uh, six of um, pentacles here in the reverse, which is good. So I don't really feel like you have been giving so much that you've depleted yourself, but you came close to it with this particular person. Okay. Um, so you're probably now at this point where you're loving yourself first. This is the external position from this person. And this would be about you where you are just you 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 i feel like you're getting to this point where you know if you had given too much or as i said depleted yourself with this person in order to make them happy or help them uh, you're taking that energy back now you're manifesting this new beginning for yourself where you know you're loving yourself now you're putting you first and i always say it should always be you are number one and the other person is number two not their number one and your number two if you're not filling yourself up you can't give so perhaps you took some time or retreated a little bit in order to replenish your 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 void that you may have felt the magician is always about manifesting a new beginning the magician has all the resources he needs in order to create something new and <clears throat> that's within yourself and within this relationship the magician is very focused he's creative and he turns visions into reality okay and your vision for yourself at this time is to be there for others in the way that you are because you're Aquarius so you have a humani humanitarian way about you but you are realizing now that if someone's taking advantage of you that that's just not it's not going to work for you that it, it's impossible to have a healthy relationship with someone's taking advantage of you all the time in any way not just money as I was saying is someone that you work with or it's your partner who's taking advantage of your valuable time it has to do with value and whatever is valuable to you I feel like they're going to come back and apologize for all of this and try to make things work and try to make the effort with you because with the king of pentacles in the reverse you've stopped giving okay and and you know you're pulling back will cause them to come forward and really realize the situation now the outcome card is the retreat card so it says that for both of you it's time to disconnect from the world so this could be the two of you disconnecting from each other because nowhere in here did I say that you would accept the apology you might accept it but you might not return because either you feel the damage is done and you can't move you, you have to move on the three of Pentacles here you may find out that this person who was taking advantage of you may have been doing that in order to take care of somebody else whether it's a child or if they have another partner um, the threes can sometimes be about three people um, doesn't necessarily have to mean it's an affair or find out there's cheating or anything but for some of you you may retreat because you find out that what they were taking uh, borrowing money from you so they could take someone else out or buy someone else gifts things like that that energy could play out for just some of you um, 
but also because you may not feel like there will be teamwork now, even though they've apologized and they wish for your forgiveness. Um, the three of pentacles, I just feel it's a lack of teamwork, you know, and you, you may get to this point where you feel like, you know, I know you're saying that, but you may just absolutely retreat from the relationship in some way until you actually see proof of the effort that you need for them to make okay and whether that's putting money back in your account uh making up if they if they worked for you if you've overworked for them maybe making up the days and giving you some time off um if it's being a spendthrift or this person who took advantage in the house um you i mean it could be anything you know maybe you maybe you bought a box of candy bars for yourself and they ate them all in one day without even asking like little things like you are looking for replenishment and you're looking to see that and you want the proof that they're going to do that so i just see this energy of retreating at some point and waiting to see if they put in the effort waiting to see if they put in the teamwork they work together with you okay and so this is really just feeling more like an obstacle and an issue that's happening between two people um it's not like oh there's all this great love and things like that but you're putting yourself first and i think that that's great um, i feel like that's something that you need to do so the overall gist of the reading is that someone took advantage of you at some point and now they realize that they did it whatever you did to make them realize it, they're coming back to apologize or they're coming forward to apologize. And you have already gotten yourself to this point where you're like, you know, thanks, that's great. I did need to hear that, but I also need that money back in my account. Or I also need this, this, and this, A, B, and C. So you're not really going to give them, just because they apologize, I don't see you giving them an opportunity to just come straight back into your life there's a trust issue and that, that needs to be reestablished. so you're going to pull back a little and wait and see okay so Aquarius uh, I hope that this reading resonated for you in some way if it if it does and you need more clarity again just book a reading with me uh, if you uh, if it doesn't resonate and you don't want a reading, which I know you will, just go to uh, listen to your other signs. Okay, so have a wonderful uh, September and I will talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.